Hi there, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences. I do live and layered blood cell microscopy. Today's video is going to be an interesting one for you guys where we're going to talk about parasites. These are something we see super frequently in our day-to-day -day clients. They feed on us, these parasites. They do a lot of different things to our bodies. I'm going to talk a little bit about transmission and what the top five parasites are that we do see. So parasites are a very interesting thing. They are environmental. We do see them come from travel, come from soil. They love to take our nutrients. We see a lot of parasites even come from water and childhood. You know, what we do as a child playing outside, things like that, um, is part and parcel to that. They survive by feeding on our food and feeding on our B12 and iron. We see this very commonly in the live blood cell, in the red blood cells, and they are taking our nutrients. Now, there are certain types of parasites. There's all different kinds. And 70% of the population do have a form of a parasite, which we are one big organism. Why wouldn't we have a parasite living? This is where 70% shows a form of amoeba, a form of Ascarius, which is over a billion people have, and even forms of roundworms. Certain parasites can cause certain things. They can cause digestive upset. They can cause diarrhea bloating, bubbly tummy, major fatigue. We see numerous symptoms. They can also cause simple constipation as well, where because of what they're doing inside in the intestinal tract, they are bunging up that bowel. Some of the common top five parasites that we do see, the first one is pinworms. These are small, thin, white worms that are again environmental. These are the most common worm out there. They're about that big and they are very skinny little white guys and they do come in from playgrounds, playing in the dirt. They go underneath your nails, things like that, and then you ingest them by eating and so on. They then are often seen coming out through the stool. And that's where a lot of parents will see, you know, little white worms coming out through the stool. This again, very, very common. You can go to your pharmacist. Your pharmacist will put you on a parasite cleanse for this specific type of parasites. And you don't necessarily need to see a doctor to have this done because it is that common. And this is why it's so important for us to always be telling our kids, you know, to wash their hands, things like that. The second most common parasite is the tapeworm. This we get from uncooked meat, pork, um, things like that. You can get it from so many different things, but these tapeworms live in our intestinal tract and they feed on again our food. They can live there for years and years and they can get fairly large. You know, we do see some parasite pictures that come through and it's pretty interesting. You know, you kind of think, ooh, who's sending them pictures? But honestly, we love them because it tells a huge component to what's happening in people's body. And it also enables us to know the types of parasites we're seeing. We focus a lot on parasites because we see so much in the live cell. So this is where it's a massive component of our appointments. So a tapeworm has a very specific look where it will be often flat and it'll have a triangular head. It'll often can be quite long in size and it would come out in the stool in a good parasite cleanse. You know, there's a lot of satisfaction to when you're seeing parasites come out because you know that you're getting rid of the infection that's there. The third common parasite is called a roundworm. And roundworm uh, tends to have little hooks to it as well. And these hook to our intestine and that's how they hold on. So they hold on for dear life. Uh, so it's very, very common to see these. These as well are very common in travel, um, very common on fruits and vegetables, and so on and so forth. The next one we see very frequently in people sending us stool pictures 
is flatworms. This is another one called a liver fluke. Again, about 70% of people have liver flukes. Um, they are flat, they are brown, and they kind of look like a digested piece of peach. They will have fuzz around them. They do come out in the toilet, generally on their own. Um, and this is again, very, very common. Uh, and these come from the environment as well and water and things like that. The last most common parasite is the whipworm. Now we don't see this one half as frequently as, you know, my first top three that I'm discussing, but whipworms are out there. With us having animals and having a different relationship with our animals where we love hug and kiss them. I mean, they're our family. They do carry a lot of whipworms and we can get this from the exchange with our animals. Whipworms live in the large intestine and they again do eat more things you put in your body. Now here we actually have on screen a, a picture of a live cell and what we're actually looking at in this image is we're seeing the parasite here. I'm going to turn the video on so you can physically see it. But what you're also seeing in these ones here that look spiky, you have parasite eggs. I don't want it looking like this. I don't want to have eggs inside the cells. I want it to be nice and clean like that. So here's an image of a very active parasite moving through the sample. We've got a whole bunch of other things going on here where we do have biofilms. We do have a little bit of Epstein-Barr virus in this image as well, um, but there's a lot going on. And you can see how active and even the little tail of this parasite. So these are all things that we have products that go through and show you how to use this. We have naturopaths that we can refer you to and numerous doctors we can refer you to. And with us being specializing and having a lot of education in parasites, vector-borne, Lyme, all of that type of things, we know what to do and how to deal with these things. So I'm going to show you how and what to take and what my most recommended products are that I love. And you can always contact me if you need any of this shipped to you. We can certainly ship to anybody in Canada and the USA. So here's these products. So now let's talk about what we need to do about getting rid of these parasites and things in our body. I'm very, very specific of the different types of parasite cleanses that I do recommend to my clients. And upcoming, if you watch our Instagram page, we do have a parasite purge starting, um, which is an amazing deal coming up to watch. However, here is some of the products that I really, really like. Um, these are the Cellcore line. Um, Cellcore is a very specific product line made for pathogens, if infections, um, and it's a very, very high-end line. Uh, one of the main things about the Para One is it does have a specific product in it called Mimosa Pudica. And if you're looking to do a parasite cleanse, I'd strongly recommend to utilize that particular herb uh, to eradicate parasites. One thing that is really, really important in regards to Mimosa Pudica is it has a gel-like substance and it does pick up on some of the parasites because a lot of the parasites that we do have are intestinally and they do latch to our intestines and, and so on. So this is amazing at helping getting that out. So a lot of patients that I do put them on this, um, you know, I do get interesting images in regards to things coming out, tapeworms, liver flukes, so on and so forth. So there is a protocol that comes into place. You can't just run para one and hope that that will do it. There is a process that goes along with this. So this does come with para one, para two, and para three, which is a great protocol um, to eradicate eradicate all sorts of different parasites. Now, when you do eradicate parasites, sometimes it is a process as well in regards to uh, what happens emotionally in the body. Because as you're taking these infections out of the body, sometimes you do have some ups and downs in depression, in some mood swings, things like that. So, you know, something always to be aware of.
Another much lighter parasite cleanse uh, that is very tolerable is the BioWorms. I love this company. This is a Canadian company um, out of Quebec. And it's great because this hits so many different components on a light, more homeopathic standpoint. Now I've comboed it with R7, which again is amazing at supporting liver and gallbladder and making sure we're getting rid of the pathogens out of the body. So these are an amazing combo to go together. Um, but the BioWorms works on roundworm, Ascarius, uh, flukes, all of those type of things as well. And we see an amazing before and after uh, with the images of the live blood cell. One of the more used parasite cleanses out there that you can get at the health food store is um, black walnut. And one thing I have noticed with black walnut is as time goes on, we've become adapted to it, that they, it isn't eradicating parasites as well as it once did. Uh, so we do only kind of have products that have black walnut in it, but we don't use black walnut as a full protocol because we don't find it as effective as some of these other products that we do have access to. So, Definitely when you're uh, purging parasites, make sure the bowel is functioning, make sure you support your liver um, and make sure everything's kind of functioning. Make sure you incorporate fiber into that diet uh, because I cannot stress enough that you're getting out the pathogens as you're killing them. So if you like this video, we'd love to see you at some of our other videos. Click that subscribe button and join Microcell for all of our videos that we post. Thank you.